when Clooney, who's a friend of yours, calls you and says, I want to uh, direct you in a movie, The Tender Bar, do you feel some obligation that you have to do it? I mean, the guy's a great director. He's a great, uh, you know, he's a great actor. First of all, I always wanted to work with George as an actor because Matt always said the guy's spectacular to work with as an actor. What and does that mean? Why is he spectacular to work for? Well, I'll tell you what it was for me. Um, imagine working for a guy who's done your job at the highest level for longer than you have, right? So George, his notes are like just so fucking sharp and you can play them. A lot of directors sit down and talk about like, well, you know, you're call you're red and you know, this is a movie about it, you know, uh, the motion of it. And you're just like, I can't, I don't know what to do with that. George will go, you know what? I like leaning forward, wait till the second line. You know, or it's great what you're doing. I see that. That's too small. Bring it up a little bit at the end. And it's just so much better. This movie is almost a parallel. You did this little boy goes to talk to his uncle at a bar. You used to meet your father at a bar, which is just fucking crazy. And he probably was hammered. I can't even imagine the bitterness and what you missed out on in life. I think that the thing about this movie is because I've seen both the sides of the father, I understand how fucking important fathers are. Uh, you know, in the sense, and it doesn't have to be, you know, I'm talking about men and women, okay? You can be two, two moms, two dads, non whatever your family system is, whatever it looks like. What matters is that the, you show the children with your time and attention that you believe in them and that they have worth and that they can do hard things and then you love them. And the way that you do that, which I think is really interesting in this movie, is, you know, the Uncle Charlie's the exaggerated version where he's like, you're no good at sports. Don't take up sports. You suck. You know, but I love you and you can do this. Then the kid goes, OK, I can do it. You want to hug that kid. I um, mean, uh... I, it was so easy. I mean, my son was nine. He was nine. I was, you know, it was like I fell right into I fell in love with the kid. This is the thing when being a celebrity, Matt, most of the time I'm like famous bullshit. I hate it. It's, but then there's times where like, you know, he's doing the junk with me last night. I said, what do you want for Christmas? You know, and he, he's like, oh, well, you know, basketball jerseys. I like basketball jerseys. I said, you like basketball? He's like, yeah, you know, I like, uh, you know, I like the Knicks. And I like, the, you know, I'm giving him shit about the Knicks. And I said, yeah, yeah, well, you like to go to basketball? He's like, I ain't never been. I said, you've never been to a basketball game? Right then, I was like, okay, this is going to come in handy because, you know, I do know people. So I'm like, okay, right. who's playing tonight? We get some fucking floor seats. Daniel's going to go basketball game with his mom and dad. And it's like, you know, he was out there, and he was, you know, watching the. He's a sweet You know, and it's I mean, like, he's adorable. I'm going to give that, oh, give something, help somebody, give something nice for somebody. There's no more joyful thing than that.